Miss Danielle here, and I have a word for you. Time is the best teacher. Sometimes we got to go through life and experience things to really be taught things and to really have the wisdom that we need in life. So look, the verse for this video is Romans 5, verse 2 through 4. And it reads, Through whom we have gained access by faith unto this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character hope. So look, a lot of us, we've gone through different things in life. We've been a mother, we've been a father, we've been a student, we've been a teacher, we've been rich, we've been poor, we've been broke, we've been ugly, we stunk, we've been clean. Like, we've been through a lot of different things in our life. Time is the best teacher. If you really think about it, like, when you go through grade school, you have to go, you have to take time. You have to go to school every day. You have to go to the next grade. Then eventually you go to the next level of school. First you start off in primary. Then you go to elementary. Then you go to high school. Then you graduate high school. Then you go to college. Then you go to graduate school. Then you get your mind. Like, you know what I'm saying? All these things takes time. Same thing goes for like a relationship. You get to know a person in the beginning. You're figuring them out. you getting to know where they're from. You know what I mean? Like, you're really getting to know a person. It takes time. Like, say if you're a chef or you're a cook and you're cooking a new recipe for the first time, you might, it might not taste like how you thought it was going to taste the first time, but you know what you did wrong. Like, you know you put too much oregano, you didn't put enough salt, you should have added some more pepper. Like, the next time you do it, you're going to do it right. It took time to learn how to do something the correct way. If you're starting off in basketball, you're a basketball player. You might not know the game right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get to know things. Time is the best teacher. Experience is the best teacher. So it's important that we know this because we need to be patient in our lives. We need to understand that everything is not like... I know this society has made us think instantly, instant gratification is good, but it's really not. Like, we have to be patient. It says... We also glory in our suffering. So God wants us to glory when we're going through things, when we're not, you know, hitting the mark, when we're not being successful as we think we should be. God wants us to glory in these things. It says, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. So in your suffering, the thing that you're going through, whatever it may be, you are gaining perseverance. You are learning how to be hard body. You're learning how to be strong. You're learning how to withstand. And your suffering is not in vain. Whatever you're going through is not in vain. Those of us who know Christ and want to live a Christ-filled life and want to be a part of the body of Christ, suffering is something that we're going to have to go through in our life at some point or another because you have to remember what Jesus Christ went through. He came here. He did what he was supposed to do. The people, like I said, who knew him, they really, you know, they wasn't really rocking with him like that. Um, he got betrayed. He got persecuted. He got laughed at. He got mocked. Um, but then there were some people who knew, like, wow, thank you, Jesus. Like, this Jesus, he's he's really the Messiah. He's really the Son of God. Like, they really believed him, and they were healed by him. The people who did choose to believe in him, they were healed by him. They were loved by him. They got benefit from him. They were blessed by him. You know what I mean? They knew that he was the Messiah, the Son of God. But, yes, Jesus, he went through suffering while he was here in the earthly form and human body. He was he suffered. He he didn't have um everybody on his side. Like some of us, we think that because everybody's not on our side that life is over. It don't matter. Cause guess what? Jesus was Jesus. Okay. His name is still glorified to this day. And Jesus was here thousands upon thousands of years ago. You know what I mean? Like just because they don't like you, just because they're not rocking with you like that, it don't mean you're not that guy or that girl. You shouldn't even be worried about that. You should be focused on God. Your focus should be God. God should be like right here in your forehead. Every day you wake up, it need to be about God. What do God want from me? What is God saying is best for my life? What does God want me to do? What does he want me to say? Where does he want me to go? Where does he want me to go? How does he want me to look? What does he want me to dress like? like everything you do should be centered around God, not people in this world. Do not worry about these people in this world. So again, suffering produces perseverance. So that, that thing that you're going through, it's producing perseverance. It's, it's making you stronger. It's making you wiser. It's giving you wisdom. Again, that time that you're going through these things, how long it's taking, it's be, it's being it's becoming your best teacher. Like you're gonna be okay. You're gonna get through it. In the end, you're gonna be successful. 
And then it says perseverance character. So like I said, perseverance produces your character. Now that you've been through these things, you're going through them, you're getting through them. Again, you're persevering, you keep going, you're being steadfast, you're enduring, you're coming out. Um, now it's saying that all of this is going to produce character. Um, your character is who you are, what you stand for, what you think, how others think of you, how others perceive you. That's your character. It's the way you carry yourself. It's how you how you operate, your morals. I remember Martin Luther King says he wants to one day for his children to not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. He wants them to be judged, you know, for who they are, what they offer, their ability, um, what type of contribution they bring to the community. He wants his children to be judged like that. And we are, you know, he's talking about us as well. He wasn't only talking about his four children. He was talking about us. He wants us to not be judged by the color of our skin, but what we can, you know, bring to the world. Because at the end of the day, we are a chosen people, peculiar people, his royal priesthood. He wants the best for us. He loves us and he's our God. And again, so after your perseverance is producing your character, like, you know what I'm saying? You're a good guy now. You're a good girl. You're wise. You're just. You have integrity. You're pure. You're respectful. You're peaceable. You love. You're gentle. You're kind. You know what I'm saying? You got self-control. After you got all this stuff, your character. Now it says, and your character produces hope. So everything works together. The suffering works together with the perseverance. The perseverance works together with the character. The character works together with the hope. Because you've been through all this stuff, now you believe. Now you know. Now you got hope. Now your faith is stronger because you've been through things. You have withstand. You're still here. Some of us, we like 50. We 60. We 70. We 80. You know what I'm saying? We've been through life. We're still here. We have a testimony. We have a story to tell. We're wise now. We went through time. Like 80 years, that's a long, 50 years is a long time. 60 years, 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Time is the best teacher. So I want to remind you, be patient with life. Don't rush things. Know that just because something is happening right now doesn't mean that it'll happen like this forever. Some Things do change. You may be going through something in this time again to mold you. God wants to mold you into the man or woman that he wants you to be. And the, the way he does that is through time. It's through circumstances. It's through suffering. It's through trials and tribulations. He wants to mold you. So just pray through it. Pray that he give you strength. Pray that he have mercy on you. Pray that he forgive you of your sins. And just keep going through it. Because like I said, God loves you. He's here for you. He wants the best for you. He knows you by name. He knows the hairs on your head. Like, God know you. And you know him too. Because you came from him. His spirit lives within you. We're all a part of the body. Remember that. So look, I pray that this message blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.